Hello people. In this video, we are going to tear down our Akitonics linear servo motor, and which is this one, and we'll see what is inside there and how it is working. We are going to start with unscrewing these four screws and let's start opening it. Okay, so. So, I want to. Okay, I just got. So I have unscrewed these four screws and now remove the cover. And we have to remove the cover. And what there is, there is a micro uh, geared linear uh, micro geared motor with a feedback control circuits. And these are also having six wires. Six wires because it is a linear servo. So let's open it again i am actually not having any stand for the camera so i'm using one of my hand to hold the camera and let's remove this mm. okay so i'm re removing it and the thing which we need uh, a screw And there inside it is a system it is a micro DC micro gate motor with an appropriate control circuit and in this control circuit there these are two ICs and this IC is a big microcontroller and this is a edge bridge and now what happens is when you apply power to this motor it is start rotating and there is a gear attached which you can see I'm trying to turn it now it is working and what happens is when you actually move these uh, screw over here if I'm trying to turn this what will happen is now I'm trying to rotate it and it is increasing the and the servo uh, the linear actuator is working and how it work is nothing there is a small screw inside it and this is a system this is the actual system this you can take this as a uh, lead screw and this part can be considered as a nut so whenever you just turn this lead screw okay this is a screw and there's nothing inside it so when you will turn it and it will start moving forward and what this inside and what is this these are a connectors these connectors are used for sensing the position the linear exact coordinate and how it is working let me show you so what happens is to exactly measure the position of the linear screw there is this patch which you might not be able to see I guess as let, I'll try to show this patch inside is a resistive patch it's a linear resistive patch and this conductor is connected to this also this connector will be touched on this and whenever it will go forward it will be coming from here to here and it will touch that and that's how this microcontroller will get to know the current portion of this linear servo and it will in increase or decrease the position accordingly now we need to find out which controller is that and which uh, edge bridge driver is that to find out the current and the every extra details now so when i started researching about it then i got to know that this that the okay let, let me show you the this is the uh, pick 12 f 16 7 e is the uh, microcontroller which is being used to control this server uh, and this six 
417 IC is used as a IC rubber and it is actually a H bridge and why H bridge because this motor is a DC motor and it need to be rotated clockwise and anti-clockwise and H bridge does the same application over there and that is the inside thing and it is having two wires for power supply two for analog outputs and one for PWM um, I have not gone exactly through the specs uh, I'll have to find out that because uh, it actually works with its uh, control circuit but I am not actually having that so I'm still digging on that thing but that was the inside part so that was all about the teardown video and let me try to put it back together this has to be placed extremely well because it can actually break your cleaner somewhere now it is there so we need to take it back I am extremely sorry for disturb from not actually professionally making this video because I am starting my YouTube channel now and I don't have the right component to show this and I am actually recording this video from my phone. Thank you.